What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, man? How y'all doing today, man? Tiny P, Boxing Gaming, man. And today, we got story time. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, it's about a shadow man that I had an encounter with. And for anybody out there who don't believe in these type of things, trust me, they are real. Trust me. And if you got any experience with them, go ahead and get in the comments about it. But uh, anyways, so me and my significant other used to live at this house, right? With this long ass driveway. I'm talking long as hell. We have four cars there. Don't ask me why we have four cars, but we did. And the the one one car in particular was a Chevy, a black Chevy. Um, Was it Chevy Impala, the newer one? Or the Chevy... I can't remember what Chevy it was. But, um, anyways, it was a newer car or whatever. And sometimes when we would leave or come back to the house, it would, the trunk would be open. And she would always ask me, did you open up the trunk? And I would tell her, like, no, I didn't open up the trunk. You did. So we would go back and forth, <laughs> even though it was neither one of us that we'll find out later <laughs> in the story. And, um... So so time goes on, time goes on. So we kind of got used to here and there the trunk would be open. I would just close it and we keep going on about our day. And um, one day I had to go to work, not to actually work, but to fill out a report. An incident took place at my job where I had to go back to work and fill out a report. Basically, someone hit my vehicle and I had to fill out some type of report for the job and for insurance, et cetera, et cetera, right? And here it is. It's like 12 a.m. And I go to work and I go over there, hang out with the, you know, overnight crew or whatever. And I'm typing up my paperwork regarding my vehicle. And I love my car. One of my cars. It was a, it was a Honda stick shift. And I just got it painted. And bam, they hit my car. I was so upset. But anyways, right? So I go there, I go to work, I'm filling it out, doing my paperwork, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. I say about 2 a.m. comes around. I was just hanging out with the overnight crew. I thought I was done. So, you know, about two hours went by. 2 a.m. rolls around. I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm leaving. I'm out. I go to drive. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to get back to the house. So here it is. I'm driving. And just to give you guys, you know, some just some description about it. There's a, like I said, it's a long, long ass driveway, right? <clears throat> with four cars in it the third car is the chevy i'm the fourth car the honda pulling up and on the right hand when you turn into the driveway on the right hand side <coughs> when you turn into the driveway on the right hand side there's tall bushes i'm talking about tall prickly bushes right and no one's gonna run or 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 charge into those bushes they're too tall and you'll fall into them it's just not worth it right unless someone's trying to really hurt you you think right and that's important to know so as i'm coming in right i'm pulling in when i pull into the driveway my lights hit the back of the the chevy when i pull in i look and then i double take like what and what I see is about five, eight to six foot man in all black going to the trunk. So imagine this five, eight, six foot all black on and trying to open up the trunk. Like, you know how you're trying to like open up something with both hands and you're like struggling, but you're trying to open it. OK, imagine that happening right in front of you. Imagine that. And you're like, you know, I, I made a decision. I was like, I got me one. <laughs> I got me one. Let me put these paws on this boy right now. So as I go to get out, I'm t this is happening all in seconds. I'm talking about seconds. I pull in, go to put my, f I open up the door to put my foot down. When I go to put my foot down to go, you know, help myself get out. This person turns around like, oh, snaps. I see him. When they turn around, I look at them and I say this to myself. He has no face. But then I rationalize it by saying, no, he has on a hood. So, therefore, I continue to get out. Mind you, this is all seconds. He takes off and he runs towards the bushes that I told you about. But before he gets inside the bushes, I kid you not, 
he like evaporated he disappeared right in front of my eyes and I said what the fuck is he so I said I closed I went over to the trunk of course after that happened I went over to the trunk I, I touched it and everything I looked over to my right and I was like man you bugging you sleepy bro it's two o'clock in the morning come on went back to the car turned it off locked it up kept it pushing went into the house went to sleep like i said i rationalized and said bro you bro you bugging you sleepy it wasn't until the next day mind you her and i never spoke about any type of uh occurrences of this nature right never and something happened to her and something happened to me but we never spoke about it so i asked her the next day i said hey did you like do you ever hear hear or or see anything she says well there is times when i go to the bathroom and mind you so hit the bathroom when you walk you have to walk past the living room window and because it's hot the wind the liver the living room window is open and the blinds are like kind of like slightly open so or or pulled up and you have to walk past the window so she says on her way back sometimes she looks out the window like just walking by and she will see a shadow or a man of a silhouette just standing there by the tree looking at her and i said wow she said why i said why you ain't never say nothing basically i said like, you could have been saying something about this some some shadow just standing there looking at you, you could have been told me she said well you know i wear glasses so sometimes at night I, i'm not i'm not sure if i'm seeing that i said well i saw him so yes you are seeing him so <laughs> we both said wow we came to the conclusion that we are seeing it's not a man it's it's some type of form of entity i don't believe there are i don't believe they're ghosts <laughs> And I don't believe they're like, you know, I don't know. I just know it's some type of form of a human. I, I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's what I've seen. So like I said before, um, <clears throat> if you guys have seen anything like that or that or that nature, get in the comments and let me know, man. And um, if I can think of any more stories, I'm going to share with you guys, man. As always, Boxhead Gaming. Tiny P, like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.